Grandma. Hi guys, we're back again this time. It's part two with Grandma. Now, my mom doesn't talk much, so we're going to ask Dad again. Her story is different because whereas my grandmother on his side grew up in the South, my grandmother on my mother's side grew up where? Where? Originally, she's from Dominica. Yeah. Um, I want to get it right, so I'll let Dad tell it. And uh, I believe she was born in Dominica, moved to Curacao, um, an island off the coast of Venezuela, and uh, met her soon-to-be husband, who came there to work during the war. My grandpa. Um, he worked for uh, an airline that was making uh, planes that were used in the war effort. Uh, there was an airline factory in that area, and he was an engineer, a very smart, brilliant man. Uh, they met, I don't know what the circumstances were, but they met uh, and created a very large family eventually. Um, he was from Dad, Barbados. Dad, 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 yeah, Dad. They, they liked each other a lot and often. Um, they, they had uh, ten children, one of uh, the oldest who, of whom died shortly after birth. Uh, but the nine that survived uh, are all alive and kicking. Um, uh, her aunts and uncles uh, in various You stages, met my uncle that one time he came down the steps. In various stages of employment or retirement. But they're all still very much alive and well in New Jersey and in Florida and in other places. Uh, a very nice family, I must say. Um, I had Big not, family. had not had much experience with persons from another country prior to meeting uh, my wife and her extended family, but they are wonderful people. Um, a pleasure to be around. In most cases, sometimes it can be very annoying. But really, Dad? You asked, I'm telling you. No, uh, they didn't ask, Dad. But all in all, uh, I love them dearly. Uh, they've embraced me as one of their own. And uh, to this day, uh, we still are very close and, uh, and loving. You can talk about Bar Barbados, Dad. I'm not going to talk about Barbados. You asked me about Grandma. Grandma. Didn't they live in Barbados? Yeah, they did live in Barbados uh, before they came to the United States. Uh, lived there for a while where the first three children were born. Uh, then they migrated to the U.S. Uh, to the uh, Essex County area in New Jersey. Now, why don't you talk about your grandmother, since this is your journey. My grandma, on my mom's side, I grew up with her. We, when I, after I was born, we pretty much lived, what, two houses from their house. So... When mom and dad would go to work, they would probably drop us off. Well, myself and then after, shortly after my brother was born, so they would probably drop them off and we would stay with them. I've grown up with my grandmother and that family since, well, I'm still, they're still a big part of my life. And we are a huge family, muy grande. So that's... Let's see, what else do I talk about with that family? It's like, we're just a big, big family. Is your grandmother still alive? No. My grandmother passed away in 99. Shortly after... No. Actually, she died in 98. Sorry. Shortly after her birthday. Yeah, shortly after her birthday. You know. But she lived in the house that they got once they moved to the United States, and she stayed there until her death. She was not leaving that house. That's where all of my aunts and uncles grew up and went to school and lived until they either moved out, got married, or she died. But she was a big, she was like one of the, she was the best grandma ever. And I've talked about her in a I mean, both my grandparents are wonderful people, but I really, really loved my grandma. And I 
take after her sometimes. But she was the best. She used to sing in the church choir. And both of my grandmothers have specific voices. Like his mom, she had a very deep, concerning, southern kind of voice like this. And talked a little bit like this. And then my mother's mother, she talked a little like this. And she would always talk very, you know, ooh, and have a little bit of an accent, you know, when she would ever talk to people, you know, they would always call me Trisha because my brother couldn't pronounce my full name, so they cut it. It's Trisha. But my dad's mom, she always referred me to my full name, or Trisha. Like, you know, it was always the full name, whereas everybody else would know me as Trisha. So it was a beautiful story. So I think... Your grandmother's mother was a witch, wasn't she? See ya. Mom's gonna kill him.